Hi, I'm Sean, and you're watching Chalkworks. On this episode of the Six Door Build, we're going to be doing some spring sliders. And I know somebody out there is going to be asking, what's a spring slider? Because I know I had no idea. I just sort of dreamed this kind of concept up, and I want to do an RSK kit on there, a reverse shackle kit, and I didn't want the extra height on it because I'm already up four inches with the body. So it's hard enough to get in and out of. Um, so I started doing some Googling and research, and turns out that uh, a lot of uh, the older cars and stuff use spring sliders and uh, a lot of the drag cars and stuff on the strip there use them as well. more or less what I'm going to be, be building, except not with the uh, nylon or, or the HDP, we're going to be using brass, and uh, it's going to be a heavy duty version for a one ton truck with a diesel up front. So, sort of went and found, found some pictures online, and uh, you know, a lot of people use them for, for lighter duty applications, so I, I just went and scaled them all up. The only one I saw that's using it in uh, a one ton is... Uh, Three quarter ton anyway. He's got a Cummins diesel up front, and uh, he's running them in in this here. So, uh, pretty sure I can scale it up into brass, make it a heavy duty version, and uh, I'll be able to get on with it and make it so I don't go up any higher. That thing should sit pretty much stock height the way I'm doing it. I'm not sure if you can tell. I've been doing uh, doing some drafting with a sharpie on my drafting table here. So. Uh, going to be using five inch by quarter plate for the main assembly there and three quarter bar above three quarter bar below and I got to cut this groove out so I'm going to be making a template for the plasma if this goes good I'm going to be doing this to probably all of our old body style trucks there and then uh, got a small fortune in, in some three inch by three quarter inch brass here so Cutting that down, of course, when we, we do it, we got to sleeve it because you got to tighten the bolt down on everything, but you still need enough enough room to play in there. So i got to use the sleeves and the bushings here as a, a compression through the brass and uh, through the bolt. So all said and done, it'll bolt through. Everything will compress up on the, on the bushing when you tighten the nut down and uh, keep it from spreading. These are going to be the side plates. It's quarter by five, and I need cut four of them. So I need eight of these. I need four per slider. What John's doing there, he's making up a template for the plasma, so he's plasma all that out. Uh, if this goes over well, we're probably going to be doing a bunch of these uh, old body style forge with it.
Well, we've got the brass blocks here ready to get drilled. Unfortunately, I had to drill the jig here. The uh, mag drill don't stick the brass. And not a whole lot of guy can do elsewise, so that should hold it and clamp it. Set it up here, it's centered, and then I can drill them all out, and away we go. So what we're going to do here with these plates is uh, figure out our, our uh, width there, but we're going to end up plug welding on the back side here. So the guy can get a good stitch on there, up top, and then on the end here. And the brass will slide in between that one and that one after. Bushing fits, eh? Well, it'll be a tight fit. Hmm? Bushing will be a tight fit. Sort of wonky, but I want to use that machine with Donovan too, eh? The brass bullet. being a soft metal that drills. So we're just uh, mocking it up here. One thing I didn't think about were these tabs on the spring. And uh, they're a little, little tighter than I was thinking I need. I thought the eye would be the, the widest part because the spring leaves were three inches wide. And the eye is three and a half on here for the, the bushing in the spring eye there. And playing around trying to space out with washers and still make it work with what I've got for material. See how we can uh, pull this one off. So you can sort of see the idea of this whole thing is, is the spring instead of the shackle. And the spring will slide with ease on the, the guides there. And uh, I don't have that three or four inch shackle height I'm, I'm getting nailed on so and let's see we'll have one top one bottom and guide it so figure out what we need and get some more parts in the morning so 
So what we're going to be doing is setting it up on the table here using a 3 16 piece of flat bar as a spacer setting the 3 quarter inch square stock on top then two of the brass bushings to keep it equal between then the next bar on top of that and then that leaves us with uh, just a tad over 3 16 up there so as long as we keep the tops all the same we shouldn't have a problem everything should line up and I'm going to end up tacking the corners on each end there and then we'll uh, get them all buffed up and lined up that way and I'll flip it over set it down and plug weld them all I don't want to don't want to do any real welding till we get everything all tacked up and really squared up on here though don't want to warp anything so I guess as you can see here you can sort of see how much uh, adjustment there is in that groove there for the springs to slide back and forth that'd be the equivalent of having your your shackle in there swinging forward when your axle drops and swinging back when you're you, you hit a big uh, curb or whatever that's a theory anyway and uh, like I say keeps the the whole height of the shackle out of the equation for me So, what we're doing here is uh, just tacking it up. Now I can pull the brass out of it. The bars aren't going to go anywhere. And keep doing this. Got to remember this is just a prototype. If this works out well for me, we're going to get the next ones all uh, laser cut out. So we'll see how it uh, goes here. Now, when I lay it down on the bench, I can clamp it down flat and we can plug weld the bars in on the back side. Uh, once it's assembled, I'll be putting a uh, good groove in on each side here as well. So shouldn't go anywhere. And, uh, before I do this, I guess I'd better mark with a paint marker, like I said. Well, as you can see, you've got those uh, stitched in there quite nicely. And I'll let that cool off before I flip it around. Well, we'll uh, let that cool down and 
start piecing them together as a box. Well, I've got it uh, trimmed up with some fake uh, spring eyes, I guess, in there. I want uh, 16th oversize. Give it a little bit of play there, 30 second on each side, or however it's going to work out. We got it spaced, clamped back in on these as well, just to keep from spreading. Uh, clamped up here. Flip it back over on the top. My design work changed a little bit from uh, 4 inch ID to uh, about 4 and 5 sixteenths ID. Namely due to these, it sticks out a little wider, so I had to allow for it didn't before on my design. I'm going to go weld all this up and uh, take her apart. Nothing should, should change at this point. Well, we'll let her cool, clean her up, and uh, do the next one. Well, guys, we'll get that other one built there and uh, get ready to put those spring sliders on. So, uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and... Uh, if you don't mind uh, liking, commenting, uh, subscribing, whatever you want to do there, anything helps. Uh, and we'll uh, see if we can get some more content put out. Thanks again.